children of Israel, the people close to him, Alleluia. Heaven, Heaven and earth are full of glory. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. And for this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mary Magdalene of Pazzi was a Carmelite nun. Okay? When she was 19 years old, she decided to give her life over to the service of Jesus. And in a strange mystery, and this is a great mystery, guys, this will change your life if you understand what I'm about to say, okay? She understood that when something wasn't going right, when she suffered, she understood this to be a chance to unite that suffering with Jesus. So in other words, as long as it didn't kill her, she saw it as a great thing to unite our pain and our suffering to Jesus. And so instead of getting mad at other people who are jerks, all right, we pray for them. Instead of starting a fight, we sometimes have to finish a fight, but we never start them. Because we try and help to understand people who don't know Jesus don't respect other people. And that's really at the heart of the problem in our society. We don't value each other. We don't recognize what's important. That's why bullies are bullies. They don't respect other people. They think they have to be in control. And so we really need to pray for bullies in our world. We also need to pray for many, many people who aren't thinking right in their head. You know, it's like a mental illness. And we need to pray for those people. We need to look around. And we need to be very, very aware. If someone seems to be kind of strange like they say things that are like scary like they're threatening other people make sure you let other people know that so that we can pray for them and try and help those persons before they hurt somebody okay because that's really what it's all about we're, we're a family here and we need to really try and ask the lord to help us be filled with his spirit because today you know in the church 40 days after easter anybody know what happened 40 days after easter anybody what Nope. Let is before Easter. What happened to Jesus 40 days after he was walking around on the earth? Back there. He, he ascended into heaven by himself. He said, okay, God, I'm coming home. And what did he tell his apostles? He said, guys, you don't want me to leave. But if I leave, then I'm going to send you my spirit. And that spirit's going to fill you. And that spirit fills us with love. With the ability to forgive other people. With the ability to not let our anger control us. But man, is that hard. So, tomorrow, in some parts of the country, we celebrate the Ascension. But in this part of the country, we do it on Sunday. But hopefully you guys can pray this prayer, starting tomorrow. Just say this, okay? Or something like this. Basically, you can say, come Holy Spirit. But, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit that we might be recreated and thus renew the face of the earth. Okay? 
So that's a long kind of thing to remember. But if you can just say for the next nine days, everybody looking at me? Everybody paying attention? Come Holy Spirit. So what are you going to say for the next nine, year, nine days? Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. And if you can remember that other stuff, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit that we might be recreated and thus renew the ends of the earth. Okay? So you can go back on the St. John YouTube channel, right? And you can play this back and remember that prayer, okay? If you need help remembering it. Come Holy Spirit, for the hearts you're faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit that we might be recreated and thus renew the face of the earth. Okay? Yes. Let's do that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us stand and bring forth our prayers and petition. That we may bless our Holy Father, Pope Francis, his bishop, priests, and all the church with the strength to follow the steering of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that elected officials may be guided by the spirit of truth in the just use of power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That refugees and others displaced from their homes may be under the protection of Christ and obtain the help and support they need to live with dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. That families in our faith community may be grounded in the love of Christ and strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may rejoice as they join the community of saints in the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us all pray for all the schools in the United States that they are kept safe and that God helps all those people that suffer in any way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. For Sergio Hernandez, the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, that all corruption in our world be uncovered and those responsible for it lose their power and be replaced by leaders who respect life, religious liberty, and all that's in accord with natural law, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord and that you guys all continue to pray and respond this way at Mass for the rest of your life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Heavenly Father, Hear the prayers of the people gathered here before you. Those spoken and those kept in the silence of our hearts. Answer them insofar as they meet our deepest needs and are in accord with your holy divine will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.